Who likes making loops in the middle of ropes? Literally nobody, but they are useful. So um, check out this video and I'm gonna show you the best way to do so. What's going on guys, Trevor Long here for Sawback Gear and today we're gonna to be talking about the Alpine Butterfly Knot. This is a very convenient knot to have in your uh, repertoire because uh, you can make a loop in the middle of any length of cord or rope or whatever um, without needing access to the ends, which is very convenient when you're tying it on a very long rope or a rope that you've already like tied into both ends, like if you're using it for glacier travel or what have you, um, and you need some kind of loop in the middle of the rope, which is a lot more common than you would think, whether it's a hauling situation or you're using it to tie into um, a rope for like glacier travel, like to tie into the middle, like with a third person, uh, and lots of other situations that I can think of off the top of my head. So there's a couple ways to tie this knot. The first one that I ever learned is just take the middle of the rope that you wanna tie the loop on, uh, wrap it around once so it forms like a little loop like this. Wrap it around a second time so you've got two loops. And then what you want to do is pull the top loop towards you, but make sure the second loop stays in place. And then tuck the, this one underneath and pull it through that second loop. And then it'll look all funky until you start tying it off or tightening it up. But eventually, after you kind of tighten all four ends, it'll look like this, which apparently is supposed to look somewhat like a butterfly. Now I disagree, but the point is, it's a very symmetric knot, which makes it easy to inspect. You can tell if it's proper, properly tied because it's, it should look like this. One of the great things about this is that the knot is strong in all four directions of pull. So if you pull on either side of these two ends or this end here or this end here or whatever you want, um, it is a very strong knot in all four directions, which is convenient because this can also be used to isolate a damaged portion of the rope. So if this section of the rope here were damaged, you can tie this butterfly knot to isolate this section of the rope so that this way, you know, you can pull on the rope either side with this like just like a normal rope would, but it's not putting any force on the damaged section of the rope, so you don't have to worry about that breaking after like, you know, more force. Now, admittedly, that is not a long-term solution. If you see some damage in your rope, go buy a new rope. But if you're out climbing or um, on a glacier and you need to use your rope to get back safely, but there, you find a damaged section, this can be a good short-term solution. So, you know, you would isolate it like this. Now, the other method of tying this knot is probably even more simple than the, uh, than the first method I showed you guys. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the knot or take the rope and loop it over your hand between your thumb and your index finger, and then loop it back on itself twice. So one, two, so you can see it's just wrapped over itself twice. And then you're gonna take this rightmost strand and tuck it underneath both of those other strands and pull it through. And then just like before, you kind of go through and just tighten up all four sides. And there you go. You've got your alpine butterfly knot once again. So both of those methods are easy to remember, easy to tie. Um, the knot is somewhat difficult to untie, even after, especially after it's been weighted. Uh, but you know, trade-offs. The point is that this is a useful knot anytime you need to make a loop in the middle of a piece of cord. I'm gonna show you each of those methods one more time and then we'll wrap it up. So let's see. To start the first method, you grab both ends of the rope, loop it once so it's got, you know, a loop in it, twice so now it has two loops in it. Fold the top loop down, maintaining the second loop, and then fold the top loop underneath all of them and tuck it back through the second loop and then tighten all four ends here. And there you've got your Alpine butterfly knot. And then for the second method, you take it, wrap it around your hand, wrap it back on itself twice, take the rightmost loop and tuck it underneath the other two, pull and tighten and there you've got your Alpine Butterfly Knot. That pretty much does it for us here today. Uh, leave any comments that you have in the comment section down below, any questions you might have. Um, 
If you guys can think of more uses for this knot, go ahead and leave a comment down there below as well because I know that there are a lot of uses that I haven't mentioned in this video. It's a very useful knot and it's a very convenient one to know, especially when you're sitting there and you're like, I really wish I knew how to make a loop in the middle of this cord. And then you're like, I know because I watched Saw That Gear. So it's this whole thing. Um, but yeah, if you liked the video, go ahead and click the like button. If you like the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, Philip will give you um, he, he's not, he's shaking his head. He won't give you anything, but I will give you my undying love and affection. So hit the subscribe button because I want you to. Other than that, that's pretty much does it for us here today. I have been Trevor Long for Sawback Gear, and I look forward to seeing you outside.